Hello and welcome to Property Report TV from the Mandarin Oriental in Bangkok. We're here to interview legendary British property and design mogul, Mr. Nick Candy, who's going to be talking about his new project, One Hyde Park. We're going to meet him inside and ask him some questions. First time here, no? No, I've been coming to Thailand for over 15 years. I love Thailand. I've been uh, everywhere from Shiva Som to Amman Puri and Phuket. Uh, I've probably stayed at this hotel probably 15 times. Right, right. Okay. And obviously it's uh, uh, related to me at the moment because we're, we're, we've launched One High Park residence at the Mandarin Oriental in uh, the first European residence. And so obviously staying in the Oriental in Bangkok is an uh, uh, easy away from home yeah. place to be. There seems to be a, there's a lot of interest at the moment from Asian buyers in London. Uh, what do you think appeals particularly to, to the Asian buyer when they're looking over there to invest? Well, the Asian buyers are very uh, savvy buyers and very smart buyers. And I think uh, for the last uh, two years since the credit crunch started in London, I think um, having a currency uh, advantage that, you know, the Singaporean dollars had a 20% to 25% currency advantage, and same as many other currencies uh, in Asia. So they, they're getting uh, good value, very, very good value for their money in, in London. And I think also uh, the amount of money that's being made in China uh, has been heavily invested into London. A lot of the reasons are to do with education because a lot of their, their families and kids go to school in London or in the counties uh, around that. But um, you know, they, they, London's uh, a very safe place. It's geographically placed very well. It's got good education. It's got good history. It's got some of the best restaurants in the world today. And also, uh, time has told that if you invest in London, uh, you'll get good returns. And mm. the prediction from Savills for growth for both 2011 and 2012 is a 2011 low single digit growth but in 2012 you invest in prime residential in central London the prediction is 11% growth mm -hmm. by, their, by their research team so based on that they've got a currency play good returns and you know it's economically and good for potentially education and other reasons for them okay well with that as a backdrop obviously uh one Hyde Park is a pretty special development in itself. Yes. Um, what particular features make it unique in, in your view? I think obviously the number one feature with any property is location. Mm -hmm. It's probably one of the best locations, if not the best location in London, uh, at the end of Sloane Street and also having views of the park. Uh, it's a brand that Asians are very familiar with, Mandarin Oriental, so it's the first European resident, residence of uh, Mandarin Oriental. Um, and so service, which the UK has not been traditionally very good at, mm -hmm. is going to be very, very good at, uh, at One High Park. And then um, thirdly, quality, because uh, Asian uh, purchasers are very, very used to high-end high quality. They, they demand it locally. Uh, and why shouldn't they be able to get it if they go to London or New York? Well, London traditionally has not been so good at quality. But I think, and from what the feedback we've had by developers worldwide, uh, that have come to see One High Park, they're, they're blown away by the high level of quality and services. And so uh, the biggest compliment we can get at One High Park is if uh, we can sell the units to other developers locally from Asia or from Moscow or Mumbai or whatever. And you know, we've been very fortunate that some of the biggest property players in the world have all bought in One High Park. And the reason mm. they've done that, and they're very, they're very conscious about value and they're very conscious about quality and they're very conscious about the best locations. They understand real estate inside out and still they want to buy at One Eye Park. Well, that is mm. the biggest credit we can have. Mm, sure, sure. So there's a lot. I mean, obviously, there's interest, in going, interest going in that direction. What about, do you have interest in this direction? Are you, are you looking at Asia as a potential place to develop? Definitely. I would love to be. I mean, we, we looked at Hong Kong for many years and obviously Shanghai and Beijing would be two very interesting places and also like Bangkok and Singapore. So mm -hmm. we've met with one or two developers here already today in Bangkok speaking to them about some of their plans here. If we do anything in Asia, though, we would do it with a local developer. We would not do it on our own, mm -hmm. because you need that local developer to have the local knowledge, the local uh, contacts with the planning authorities and all these different things, and the local um, contractors and stuff like that. We can bring lots of things to the party in terms of design, marketing, architecture, but we, we would hook up 100% with a local developer. Okay, great. Well, thanks very much for your time, Nick, Thank and very much. informative. Thanks. Nice to have a good trip.